Hey guys, welcome back to another stream. Uh, thank you for the follow, one know you. And I hope y'all are having a great Sunday so far. Alright, we have a couple hours, just like yesterday. I have a hard stop at 5.30 today, so now we have literally just a couple hours to play today. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and we're just going to pull one. It's not going to be a 10 set. Um, we'll go ahead and get started with that. One second. I'm going to get timestamps for those who are watching on the uh, on the YouTube and who'll be watching later. Let's go ahead and we're going to open our dreams. Sorry about that. All right, now let's go ahead and we're going to do a single pull. I'm just going to do the lone encounter. Let's see who we get. I haven't been playing very much lately, so I don't have as many crystals as I normally have. Alright, so it's going to be a three start, looks like. Alright, well, at least she gets a shadow increase. That's, that's good. That's good. To, uh, to the game. Alright, and we are going to start the next uh, chapter of the symphony. And as you can see, I've got the Octopath Traveler guests. I've got Cyrus, Particio, and Tithi. And... Need to switch them in or out. Chapter two, choosing a path. Okay, let's go. Etto. Adicio. You're that lad who was taking a nap before. What's wrong? Ah. Oh, it's you. Well, I'm looking for someone. The owner of this traveler's log that was left behind. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't see anyone like that. I was seeing if anyone had a tipple or two to spare a thirsty fellow. So good. Oh, I see. Simone. Sorry, lad. Yeah. That's okay. I'll look around. Mm. Did he say Odysseo? Nah, could it be? Last accepted! All right, so go to the portal room again. Let's go. I guess we can choose which one we want to go into, or I guess that's a uh, no. Here either. Huh? Huh? The ring. 
that. Oh, hey, everybody's here. Huh? Huh? Oi, oi. Hey, what the? Hmm? Where? At all. Well, what was that? Hmm. Aldo, were you here from the very beginning then? Ah. Yeah, I came here alone, and then the ring started glowing, and all of a sudden, you were all here too. Mm -hmm. So the ring brought us here. Masako. Such strange power. Yeah. I got it from Odysseo, so I don't really know much about it myself. Sorry. Naruhodo. At the least, we can surmise that it's no mere bauble. Hmm. Be it the ring's power or nay, why were we brought here at all? Uh... I don't know. Hey, sorry to butt in when everyone's doing some real heavy thinking, but... There's a lot of new folks here. Can you give us some introductions, Aldo? Ah. Oh, right. Let's see. It seems we're all just as lost, too. Would you be so kind as to share what you know of everyone's circumstances as well? Vagata. Sure. I'm glad they cut it. Or faded to black, rather. Naruhodo. I see. The merchant suddenly seeking to snap up as much wealth as possible for himself. Fascinating. Oh. A sketchy nobleman and a suspicious rebellion. There has to be something else behind it all. <laughs> so you're looking to grab folks' hearts. Bet you'd draw quite a crowd at any shop. Mm. Oh, it strikes me a bit odd. How come the other districts ain't hurt you by now? Aldo, do you think that we would also be able to travel to different times by using these portals of light? Ah. Probably, I guess. Naruhodo. I see. The matter of House Atrat continues to worry me, but if you have need of me in another time, do let me know. Makasetoke! Yeah, if you need a guy with good negotiating or money sense, just holler. I'm sure I can help out too. It doesn't matter when. Everybody loves a good dance, right? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like everyone's hit it off pretty fast. Well now, it certainly is lively in here, isn't it? Odysseo. I expected you all to be racking your brains in different time periods. Ah. You have a lot to answer for. Yeah. Unfortunately, at this point in time, I simply refuse to answer to anything. This is your journey, after all. It belongs to all of you, not to me. Or are you so badly lost on your way that you can't proceed without a hint? Yeah. No, we'll reach the bottom of this with no reliance on you at all. <laughs> oh, how reassuring. You know, I could return you all to your world this very moment. Do you not need help with that either? <laughs> what? Oh. I know all about your predicament. You were suddenly torn from your own world and brought to another, yes? Or things. For a short time only, I connect I could connect this place back to your world. You are all travelers, after all. You should return to your rightful places and resume your travels. You may have gotten wrapped up in some small troubles here and there, but what does that matter to your goals? Almost here. If you prefer to chase down what you consider worrying, by all means, 
return to through those portals. But know that I can only hold the worlds together for a very short time. Well, about what you want to do. Especially since there is no guarantee that resolving matters in each time will return you to your homes. Then, if Odysseus sends everyone home, surely I can solve, manage to solve everything going on by myself. Even if it'll be hard, I have to try. Huh. Hey, everyone. Or Hold up there, Aldo. Don't go saying anything foolish. Huh? What? Oi, oi. You want us to shrug and go running on home like none of what we've seen is our business? Nothing to it. And if you can't make that call, then I'll make that call. Patricio. <laughs> so it's true. I can't be sure of what may come tomorrow. But as an apothecary, I know what ought to be done here and now. Yeah, yeah. You have no reason to simply nod and take what he suggested at face value, either. I would prefer to focus on resolving the concrete issues facing us before anything else. Yes. I agree with Temenos. Besides, if our investigations fail to uncover a way home, then we will simply search for more. A way clearly exists. Thus, I need only find it. Thou art worried for Cure, yes? Mm. Yeah. So then so Bennett. I have no objection to returning to Ungan. A way home existeth. Such been enough for me. For now. Zoom, zoom, zoom! I hate it when people expect me to nod along and do what they tell me. So... You can stuff it, mister. <laughs> Besides, I haven't seen nearly enough of the wonders of this world. It'll be a waste to go right home. Zoom zoom! <laughs> Everyone. Haha. <laughs> Such wonderful companions you all are. My friend also wrote of the many fine people he met on his journey. So they, I'm sure there are people just like you. <laughs> Wait, Odysseo. Mm -hmm. No, I won't answer anything right now. Once you've resolved the distortions in each of the three eras, we'll meet again and time's forgotten stop. Mm -hmm. Grumpy, grumpy, grumpy. We'll find the way ourselves. He said the exact same thing. Travelers are always the same. Reckless, ignorant, self-centered, and self-assured. They act as though the world exists for them and them alone. They will learn. The agony of coming. Oh. Yes. That's complete. That was quick and easy. All right. You can now use path action, scrutinize, purchase, and alert in each area. Nice. All right. And
Which one should I do first? Let's go left to right. The sickness wealth brings two. Alright, give me one sec. And let's go ahead and start this quest. Oh. I should head back to Salvatore Island. I wouldn't want to keep Patricio and the others waiting. And we're running we have about 30 seconds for this ad. Go by. For the Twitch viewers. seconds. All right, let's go through. <laughs> oh, my head. Is it happening again? That was close. Hey, are you alright? Oh. Yeah, I'm good. Hey, good? Look at you! They tore you to pieces! What are you thinking, fighting alone like that? What? Sorry. I just didn't want anyone in town to get hurt. And I figured I could act with bait. Anyhow, I won. So I doubt they'll bother the town again. And Maybe, but that doesn't... Hmm? Oh, a cave. Let's check it out. Mm. <sighs> Never stops to think things through, does he? He must have been a handful for whoever he was traveling with in his world. Boy. Hey, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Get the voice is backwards. Oops. Fine, I'm coming. This isn't a game, you know. Talk about ancient treasure and lie. Oh. Yeah. Sorry for dragging you out here for nothing. Huh? Wait a second. Are you telling me you knew the rumors were a lie? Yeah. Why didn't you say anything? I would have never come in that case. <laughs> well, I mean, even if there isn't any treasure, this place was pretty fun to explore, right? Mmm. I'm a treasure hunter, not a tourist. You might think that this is all about sightseeing, but for me, this is work. Oh. I know, I know. Well, let's get searching. I'll help. Interesting. There are. It's about time we return to our journey. Arigato. Thank you so much for saving my daughter. We'll never forget this. Are you really leaving already? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's somewhere I need to be. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Go on now, give it to him. Yeah. Here, it's a present. Hmm. A present? Oh. You're always carrying that big book, right? I thought it might be useful. <laughs> Let's see here. A pressed flower bookmark. How cute. And there's even one for me. Arigato. Thank you. <laughs> and guess what else? That flower has a special meaning in our village. It means...
Fade to black. Mm. We'll meet again, huh? If only it were so easy. I still have found a single clue about your world. Oh. Yeah. I never imagined when I first arrived here what a struggle it would be to return. I wasn't ready for it. Hmm. Well, don't let it get you down. We'll figure it out. It's just a matter of time. What do you think about traveling east across the ocean next? The other day I met this traveling merchant, and you don't believe the tales he told to tell. Oh, excuse me. Looks like we made it back to that island safe and sound. Now, I've got an idea how we can rustle up some money around here. Well, what was that? Everyone, come quick! The mine ceiling collapsed! Some workers are trapped under the rubble. We need your help. You betcha! Come on! We go! We got everyone. I believe we did, but there's no telling if or when the ceiling may give away again. We had a we had best leave before. Curses! How are they supposed to mine salt now? Yo. Well, if I ain't Mr. Ricketts, didn't expect to see you here. Nanda. You again? What brings you to the mines? They were helping us evacuate the mines, sir. Humph, I don't care call asking for your assistance. What's with the attitude? If we hadn't helped, those people would have been in serious trouble. Oh. It's alright, Aldo. Let me handle this. Say, Mr. Ricketts, it sounds like you're between a rock and a hard place. You're worried you'll have to stop mining, right? Shh. So you petty thieves were listening, were you? A lot of the healthy workers were injured during the cave-in, so we don't have enough people to move all the rubble. Silence! I have countless debtors. If we call upon them, we'll have more than enough bodies. Hmm. I doubt that. Getting people to come here will prove more difficult than you think. After all, Sark's untimely demise in Actual has given others the impression that a horrible illness afflicts this land. Mm. He's right, sir. Many people are refusing to come here because of the rumors. And even if we bring them by force, they try to flee and we have to find them. It's taking much longer than usual. <gasps> Those ingrates! Do they think they can borrow money and still have the luxury of deciding how to repay it? Yare, yare. If you truly wish to attract new workers, it seems you'll have no choice but to improve the conditions here. Why should I? I don't owe those beggars anything. Oh. Thinking about the short term will only hurt you in the end, mister. See. Don't speak as if you know what's going on here. Uh. I may not know everything, but I know this. If you want to make money, you gotta invest in the future. So I say we make a deal, Mr. Ricketts. We'll help you remove this rubble. Huh? Uh? You can't be serious, Patricio. You actually want to help this guy? <clears throat> what are you scheming? You're not planning on stealing the profits, are you? Yeah. Don't you worry about that. I'm not interested in your money or your salt. What I want is... 
that rubble. <laughs> huh? We'll take everything from the cave and anything we dig up along the way. Nah. You wanna know what to do with it anyway, right? I'd say you got nothing to lose. Mm. He has a point, sir. The rocks from the collection site are spilling over into the living quarters. Once that's cleared up, we can turn it into another sleeping quarter and bring even more people over. Mm. I don't know what good those, these useless rocks will do you, but if that's all you want, consider them yours. Take as much as you like, but don't even think about asking me for anything else later. Likewise, I don't want you backing out of your deal once we get started. Oh. I'll draft us words. I'll draft us. I'll draft us up a contract just in case. Although, Temenos, why don't you two get a head start? But how are we supposed to clear this out without any tools? Uh. Ah, guess we'll have to wrestle those up first. We'll need shovels and pickaxes. Quest accepted. All right. Okay. I won't hold back. Oh, I forgot about the. Oh, I can't swap them out either. Um. Alright. This is the end. A battle is something you create. Ta ta! Woo! Got achievement! Weekly achievement. Still achievement. Alright, swapping you out for him. Fire and fire. Attack him. Easy peasy. Again, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Scurvy grass. The traveling warrior defies you. Okay. Oh, no. Go. Then I want him to be him. On that. Switch. Just attack. I have no idea what he's saying. Yeah. 
調べ物の時間だ。Almost swindled by her former friends, losing, unable to fulfill her quotas, her ration share has been reduced, fitting her into a diverse life. Yeah, let's do that. Let's climb down into the hole. Oh, maybe we don't want to come down here just yet. Authorized workers only beyond this point. Okay. The traveling warrior defies you. Switch. This Attack. is it. It ends. You got enough to eat there? I can't stand this. They work in folk go hungry, you know? Can't stand it at all. So, I like to give a little bit of my own to folks in need. Just keep it on the down low, you got me? No telling what might happen if I get found out. Looks like a good guy. Purchase. Oh, I need to buy both of those. Here. Yes. I'm gonna Makes mining fun. <laughs> Scrutinize him? Not yet. Okay. Alright, this ought to do it. Then let's start clearing out those mines. Alright, but first. 
first I want to talk to the other people. How long am I planning on working here? Until I pay back the money I borrowed. Can't leave till I do that. Them's the rules. Alright, oh hello. I like my current follower. I'm feeling like I missed a uh, scrutiny somewhere. You know, the folks working here are all kind and caring souls. We all just ran into a little bad luck is all. What's her there? Oh, I was reading things backwards. Okay, yes, we'll scrutinize her. Sate. A woman who lived with her father in Actual borrowed money from Ricketts to pay expensive to buy expensive medicine for her father, forced into debt slavery when she could not pay him back. Right, let's scrutinize this guy now. Once attempted to escape from Seltor Island, they were caught by the Watchmen and sentenced to even har harder labor. Mm -hmm. Actually, what is his allure ability? Power, intelligence of all enemies done by 20. Not too bad. About you, let's scrutinize you. A one-time shop owner from Actual, brought here to pay off a debt, but the knowledge needed to make a mining tool needed to make mining tools has earned them a place as a watchman rather than a laborer. Oh. Back to the mines. Unfortunately, I don't understand what you're saying, sir. Attack! It's heads! It was my royal duty! Alright. Tiffy. Yes, unlock everything. There we go. Got that hole later. All right. I feel like it's 
the uh, bad guys to meet the enemies. Oh. It's time, fellas. Let's get this rebel out of the way. Well, a deal's a deal. We cleared out the rebels, so we'll be taking those rocks to the collection site. Thank you so much. I've opened up the area, so you're welcome to use it as you see fit. Ooh-wee! What are we waiting for? Follow me, fellas! Zoom! So, what did you plan to do with all this rebel, Particio? <laughs> Let me show you. It's faster that way. Hee-haw! I knew I'd find you here. Have a look at this. It looks like an Everbright stone, but it's a different color than before. Oh. Yes, sir. -y. I happened to see a couple workers carrying them, and I thought I might find more around here. These tunnels are good for more than just salt. They're full of Everbright, too. Nah. And, if we turn them into accessories, I reckon we'll make enough coin to buy these folks the, the food they need. Didn't Shaney say that Neverbright could be found in the same place as Firelight Storms? Heh, <laughs> <laughs> I always knew you were a quick one, Temenos. Real pure stones like those can be sold to merchants and nobles. And, once they realize we got ourselves a stable place to mine them, they might even become our patrons. You really think it'll go that smoothly? Oh. I'll make sure it does. I'm a merchant worth my salt, after all. Alright, first thing we gotta do is find ourselves a craftsman. Someone who can turn ore into more. Mm. <laughs> think we'll find someone like that around here? Nah. Won't well, know for sure till we try. Let's have ourselves a look around. And be all secret like. We don't want Mr. Ricketts finding out. He says as after he announces his plan in that loud voice. Use the scrutinized path action to find the jeweler and use the lawyer to bring them to the collection site. Aw, well. My current follower. You know, it was probably that one. <laughs> but we'll go through the list. All the way to the right, and then work our way to the left. Oh, that's a new face. Just making sure that takes us back to the mainland, so no.
talk. You came all the way over here from Maktor, huh? Before I actually came here, I had no idea this island even existed. Alright, path action. What can I buy from you? Uh, hold off on that. Scrutinize level 11? Nope. Can't do that. Sorry. I know I'm not backwards on that one. Alright, now let's talk to this guy. What do you want? Oh! Looking for jeweler? Scrutinize! Yes! Studied under a famous jeweler and received financial support from Ricketts to start their own store. Lack of customers prevented the repayment of the debt, and so they were brought here. A mighty fine addition to the party. Alright. Let's take some for the map to update. There we go. Gems since shutting down shop, so I'm not sure how much help I'll be. Don't you worry, mister. Skill like that don't just vanish overnight. I know you still got it in ya. Hmm. Yes. That should do it. Not bad if I do say so myself. Whoa, I can't believe it. These look nothing like the stones we found in the rubble. What's going on? It sounds like you guys are having fun. <laughs> sure are. Hey, Gander at these, Shaney. They're accessories. Need them never bright. <gasps> oh, wow. You made these from the ore? Yeah. Not me. This fellow right here. He's a bona fide craftsman. <laughs> this is incredible! This pendant's pretty, too. How about these earrings, miss? I think they match you perfectly. How is everyone fa faring, Casty? Recovering well, I hope. Eh? Yes, I've administered medicine for the pain. They should be fine with some rest. Bravo. That's a relief. And if Particio's plan succeeds, we will have solved the issue of nutrition as well. This island's future is looking brighter already. Ara. What is it exactly that Particio is planning? Ah, uh, right. We haven't told you about that yet, Casty. You see, what happened is... So... So you're going to sell accessories to make money for food. A fine plan. <laughs> I appreciate you folks looking for solutions. I've had my hands full here, so it's a big help. <laughs> but of course, we're merely doing what we can, seeing as you're the only one who can tend to the sick. <laughs> have a look at this, Casty! It's a never bright ring! It's isn't it cute? <laughs> It is. Its colors aren't as vivid as gemstones, but I think that gives it an entirely different charm. <laughs> right? And this blue really suits you. Try it on! Arigato. Thank you. But rings will get in the way of my work. Uso. Wait. Don't tell me you don't like accessories! Etto. It's not a matter of like or dislike, Shaney. Etto. Well, if you don't dislike them... Then how about this pendant? 
Oh. Come now. These accessories are meant to be sold, aren't they? Shouldn't be playing around with them. Right, Particio? Don't you and these accessories have somewhere to be? Oh. That we do. I'll take these bees back to Actiel then. Wouldn't want to go too far from the island. Huh. I'll go with you. Not sure how good I'll be at selling things, but I'll do what I can. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you kindly. You can leave the selling to me, though. All right. Go sell accessories. Let's go make a few sales. Well, I don't think I'll hurry. I'm actually use the map. the goods, but does it look alright, Perticio? Oh. Yep. So long as they don't overlap and people can see them clearly, you're all good. This is my first time selling wares in this world. <laughs> time to show off my business acumen. Yo, Howdy, folks! Gather around! <laughs> Today, I've got a fine and fresh deal for y'all. Their accessories made a never bright, but don't let the name fool ya. These beauties are ten to thousand years in the making. Ooh. They've been working hard to become shining stones long before you or I were even born. I'm sure you all know some are working toward a dream too, and these gems can help those dreams come true. They say birds of a feather flock together, so why not let this stone flock with someone just as hard working? Don't you want to be a part of a future that shines as bright as these here jewels? Oh, yeah. I never know Neverbrights could do that. Hello. I'll take one, please. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Which one would you like? Huh, what do you recommend? How's about this green one here? It's called Dragon's Eye because the black patch makes it look like one staring you down. That's what makes it such a good talisman. That sharp serpentine glare wards off any bad luck that comes close. And that's the one I want. But I have one too. All right, sold out quickly. That was fast. We're completely sold out. <laughs> this should be enough to hold them over for a few days. Ah. Right. Then let's go get some food and head back to the island. Is something wrong, Kaminos? Yeah. No, I was simply thinking about these medicinal herbs. Mm. Namely, why this scurvy grass grows here. And why no one used it to cure the earth illness running rampant on the island. Eto. I guess they just didn't know about it. I didn't either. Hmm. Perhaps. But I have my doubts. Scurvy grass should have its own name in this world, just like Opal and Neverbright. Yet no one had even heard of it. Almost as if it had never existed in this world to begin with. Yeah. Or it could be simply overthinking things. <laughs> well, we got what we came for. Let's go deliver these to Casty. Interesting. Turn to the island. Uh, Popper's Cave.
go. We're back. <gasps> hey, you look like you're in a good mood. I guess that means it went well. <laughs> sure did. We were able to buy plenty of food with the profits. <laughs> Patricia was incredible. His pitch stopped people in their tracks and got them to buy up all the wares. Eat. Wow, I'd love to see that. I reckon you'll have plenty of chances to. This is all thanks to you, friend. So eat your fill today. Can I really? <laughs> of course you can. We need you to be at full strength, so eat up. No. Here, Casty. We've got the fruits and vegetables you asked for. And a bunch of other things, too. Arigato. Thank you. This is exactly what these people need. Nanja. Is that... food? Yeah. Sure is. Now come on over and have some, will ya? Huh? Are you sure? <laughs> food tastes better with company, but it don't come free. We'll need you to help us out if you want to eat. Ah. We will, of course. Oh, herbage like that is dangerous. Great! The more hands we got, the more never bright we can mine. Things are going to get busy around here. Oh yeah. Them's dangerous words. <laughs> she looks like she's having a good time. Well, Casty, oh look, here's an empty bed. Two empty beds. People are getting better. I'm not is still concerned. It's so nice to see everyone looking so healthy. I hardly recognize the place now. <laughs> this island's full of life, and the workers seem to enjoy mining Neverbright. You really turned this place around, Potentio. Oh. And I'm just getting started. Mm. Really? What do you want to do next? <laughs> Wish I could tell you, but I think I'll keep it to myself a little while longer. Besides, we've still got today's share of accessories to sell. And I'd like to show them off somewhere bigger than actual. I could take you to Palace Papalis if you want. Not a if it's a palace we're going to, perhaps Firelight Stones would serve us better. I believe we now have enough to sell. Oh. I like the sound of that. Palace for Palace, here we come! Huh? Good luck out there! What have those travelers been up to these days? They've gathered the workers who used to be injured and ill and have them sorting through the rubble. It seems there are precious gems mixed within. Gems? Why didn't you say so sooner? Mm. Well, I didn't think it necessary. After all, it's a trifling amount compared to salt, and the rubble does belong to them. This is my island! That means everything on it belongs to me. Those damn travelers! They tricked me! They knew there were gems in there, yet didn't say a word. It's your island, you should know. They'll pay for this. That money is mine, and I will have it. Ooh. Well, purpley. I like purple. His hat. Why is purple associated with such negative energy? Really? Boo! Sell firelight stones. Alright, I guess. Going to the palace.
<laughs> come one, come all. What do you think, mister? Can't resist that gorgeous sheen, can ya? Hmm. Hmm, it is a fine gem indeed. Might I see your other wares? Of course you can. Let me introduce you to a little beauty made of firelight. Ta-da! <laughs> the deep crimson really shines against the black, like a flame of the night. Worthy of its name, ain't it? <laughs> yes, that's it. Firelight. I'll take everything you have. Magica. Sorry to say, I only got these on hand. There's a lot more where that came from, but it'll take some time with the resources I've got. Huh? We still have a few firelight stones left, Patricio. Want me to bring them? Yeah. Leave him. If I let this fella buy the lot, we'll have nothing to show the other merchants. Did you find these stones yourself, sir? Oh. Something like that. You know that island everyone's been talking about? The one with the salt? Ah. Yes, it's on Barricades. I've worked with him in the past, but I had no idea there was more than just salt there. Hmm. There sure is, but the workers had it real bad there. Hmm. What you doing, Particio? Oh. And we'll be able to get a whole lot more in salt and firelight gems if you improve their diet over there. Nah. So what do you say? No anyone who'd like to give us a hand? Be our patron? The more people we have behind us, the better. With enough money, we can prove how they li eat, live, and more. And someday, we can buy that island off frickin' to make it a place folks are happy to work on. So You're a fine merchant to have prepared such a thorough business plan. Mm. But there is one problem. I cannot see Ricketts agreeing to selling, even if we offered him the fortune of every merchant here. That's how great the value of the island has grown. <gasps> Shocker. Uh, but if the island is really worth that much, how did Ricketts manage to buy it? So good. He didn't. He inherited it from his forefathers. Salt was only discovered there recently. That man has luck, if nothing else. Imagine how grand it must be to find a literal gold mine in one's backyard. Hmm. Friend, yes, but at what cost? Keeping so much wealth overnight could drive a man mad. Ah. I wouldn't doubt it. Been working for a man like me. Uh, but for a working man like me, that kind of money is a dream come true. Mm. A dream, you say? Well then, perhaps this never bright stone could help you achieve that. Oh, all right, I'll take one of those too. <laughs> Thank you kindly. By the way, you said merchants wouldn't be able to buy the island, so... Do you know anyone's pockets deep enough who could? Mm. Unfortunately, no. No one comes to mind. Dokurode. Besides, why am I the only one buying here? You ought to purchase something in exchange for the information. Ah. If you have any food, we'll take it. As much as you can spare. Arigato yo. Thank you. I may not be able to come your patron, but I'll give you what I can for those workers. I pray for their good health. Take care of yourselves. That was a fun little interaction. Mm. So you want to buy the island, huh? What are you going to do now that we don't have a patron? Mm. Good question. You wouldn't happen to have any well-to-do friends in the area, would you? Yeah. Mm, not in this time, at least. Well, I know we won't make enough just selling gems, so we'll need another way. But what? Yo. Yeah. Wait, this is a palace, ain't it? That means there's a ruler here. Eto. Yeah, King Palaceful, but. Oh, yeah. But what? You will have to speak up, Aldo. Mm. But it might be best not to ask him for a lot. Alright, I won't ask what those reasons are, but it's good to know who's got the most purchasing power here. 
Uh, hold on. <laughs> Don't tell me you're going to sell to the king. Oh. Maybe not his majesty, but whoever holds the, the strings to his coin purse. I think you may be on to something. It is not uncommon for the trade of salt to be conducted under national jurisdiction. It is, after all, an essential part of life, regardless of one's wealth. And those in power have funds stable enough to buy it. Nah. Exactly. There's a good chance they'll hear us out. Then, all we gotta do is find out how much they're willing to give. Nah. Won't it have to be Ricketts asking price? Hmm. I mean, nice if they'd just give it to us in one big old lump sum, but no one wants to lose money. They probably want to know how much profit they can make and how long it'll take to recover their investment. That means we've got to do some research before we can enter into negotiations. <laughs> <laughs> this has got me more excited than a cat with a fish. Hmm. Hmm. Anal. Excuse me. I think I can help you with that. Hey, I know you. You're Fi, right? Yes, I am. We met back on that island. I apologize, but I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Yeah. Think nothing of it. Now then, you said that you could help. In what way are you able to lend a hand? I can take you to the treasurer. Huh? I have no connections myself, but Father is a purveyor to the crown, and he knows the treasurer personally. I'll ask if he can get you an audience with him. I want to help the people on that island. Mm. Sark gave his life to try and save them, and if I don't do anything, then his efforts will be for naught. So, please, let me help you in his place. I want to honor my brother's memory. Dokini. Do you still carry your brother's stone, Fai? Etto. Of course. I keep it on me at all times. Aww. Sasuga desu. You remember what I said, yes? That stone is meant to help the holder achieve their dreams. And it will do just that when you get us an audience with the royal treasurer. Thank you so much. Sete. Articio, if I may, I have an idea. Might you leave the negotiations to me this time? <laughs> oi, oi. I know you gotta play with words, Temenos, but this is business. And with royalty, too. It won't be easy. You sure about this? Eh. I am. The inhumane treatment on the island cannot be allowed to continue. I will return to the island with good tidings. I promise. Alright, if you say so. If there's anything you need, just say the word. I will. Thank you. Hmm. Though I doubt there's much a merchant can do in this situation. Well, in the meantime, we'll make sure this food gets back to the island. Eminos and his negotiating style. Alright, we return to the island. So many people are sick again. Oh. What happened here? Oh. I'm glad you two made it back safely. Where's Temenos? Oh. He had some business to attend to, but we can talk about that later. What happened here? Oh. 
three kids suddenly came to the collection site and attacked the workers. Hmm. He kept saying everything on this island belonged to him, then stole all the firelight ore. I'm so sorry. By the time we got there, it was too late. Sima. Yeah, that's Particio. We tried to stop him, but... <laughs> that's enough. You're still injured. You need to lie down and rest. Soka. What did Ricketts do? So... He whipped them repeatedly. They'll be fine with rest, but these wounds will take time to heal. So... Do we have to go back to eating gruel? So... Not if I have anything to say about it. So... What are you going to do? I don't think he'll listen to reason. Then I won't give him reason. After all he's done, making the bad thing even worse? I'll hit him with everything I've got! No. I know you're angry. I am too. But shouldn't we wait for Temenos? <laughs> we ain't got time to waste. No wares means no food, and I won't let these folks go hungry. It's now or never. Yeah. Where's Mr. Ricketts? I think he went to the Saltor Mines. Alright, come on, Aldo. Time for a showdown. <laughs> hey, wait, Particio! Wow. I get where he's coming from, but I'm worried he'll do something drastic. Should we have let him go like that? So... You're right. He's gonna get out of hand if we don't step in. Let's go after them and make sure it doesn't get... excessive. <laughs> right, we can't let them go overboard! Zoom! Go on a raid. in here yet. Actually, I want to see if the guy who was blocking the door had anything to say. I'm done taking orders from Lord Ricketts. Please put a stop to his cruel behavior. Alright. Let's go. looking after the new kid that just came over to the island. Damn useless he is. He gets lost every time I send him out. Who knows where he is now? Lost or purposefully, you know, not working. Okay. She needs to swap with him. Actually, him. Oh. All right, just gonna attack again. And just fireball. I 
I know it's overkill for like two health. But, oh, it just disappeared. Um, never mind. Attack, I guess. Ooh, never bright. Fire circle. Oh, no, I'm not so sure. A sword, and she's going to do the top swing. Easy lemon squeezy. Yes, we are going to explore the I accept your area challenge. before we uh, turn in the quest. Or for the next leg of the quest. Alright. is this? Fighting the giant mimic. Let's go. Manifest agreed. Oh. Literally should have seen the well some completely ignored them. leveled up. I'm sure that there's probably a few uh, abilities that I forgot to pump. Yep. There you go. Never bright. There we go. 
Yo. Found you. <laughs> we had a deal, Ricketts. <clears throat> we earned those rocks fair and square after clearing out the mines. You had got no right taking them back. There was nothing fair about it. You tricked me. If I had known there were precious gems hidden within those rocks, I never would have agreed. Which makes this contract null and void. Oh, that really, really gets my goat. You're a dishonest, rotten scoundrel breaking the contract just because the terms don't suit you no more. You don't got an eye for people or rocks. You're a lousy merchant and you ain't worth your salt. Or any salt for that matter. You're sitting on a mountain of treasure, one that could bring happiness to people the world over. You don't want to share. I won't allow you to have your way here. Not anymore. I'm done making honest deals with you. But I trust you don't got a problem with that. Say what you will about me, but a merchant who resorts to violence is no different than a petty thief. Men, seize him. Did you hear me? I said seize him. I'm sorry, Lord Ricketts, but we don't take orders from you anymore. We may be watchmen, but the miners are still our allies. Or at least they should have been. And we refuse to see them hurt anymore. They are objects. They don't have feelings. Don't be fools. There's nothing you can gain by defending them. I'm sorry, sir, but our minds are made up. The one now, Mr. Ricketts. There ain't one. There ain't no one to protect. Uh, to protect you anymore. Damn it! Someone stop this madman. I'll pay you for it. You really think your money's going to change anyone's mind at this point? It won't save you from what's coming. S stop this at once. See, what goes round comes round. Yada yada. That's far enough, Patricio. <laughs> There's no need to dirty your hands with his blood. Huh? Temenos, you're back already? Does that mean what I think it means? Sate. Now, Ricketts, I have something you'll want to see. Hmm. It's an official notification of seizure from palace for palace to you. Nandato? Seizure? They ain't gonna buy it from him? Yeah. That is what I asked for initially. Hmm. But the royal treasurer was hesitant, stating that purchasing the island would cost too great a sum. He changed his mind when I mentioned the situation here, though. I get it now. You weren't planning on negotiation, nego negotiating in the first place. <laughs> now, with the king being away, the signature is that of a representative. Nevertheless, I imagine a mere merchant like yourself to be unable to refuse a royal order. Lies. All of it. You forged this. I know it. Oh, yeah? Doubt me if you must. But when the palace inspector arrives, all your misdeeds will immediately be brought to light. <clears throat> no. This is my island. Mine! It's been in my family for generations. <clears throat> I refuse to be a miserable miner ever again. All the wealth here belongs to me, and me alone. You can't have it. Not you, not anyone. <clears throat> now wait just a second. Yada yada. Oh my. I did not expect him to quietly accept his fate. But to flee? Isn't this tunnel a dead end? I wonder where he thinks he's going. So he's taken leave of his senses. We should find him before he does something drastic. Iko. Right. After him. Iko. Zoom. Uh, looks like the quest ends here. Uh, swap. 
Oh, she doesn't have enough to pack them anyway. Neither of them do. Right, wow. Hole that leads below a regular rope won't reach the bottom. Let's see what the storeroom has. Well, I'm let me click it. I explore this map, I guess. Oh, I gotta tell someone, don't I? Hey, he's eavesdropping on me? Well, I was just muttering, is all. You didn't hear nothing. I promise you won't say nothing, okay? Sure? I do like power badges. Let's see what else I can get. Nice. Yes. 
さて、調べ物の時間だ。Man who too readily believed in the goodness of humanity and covered a friend's debt with his own money. He has witnessed a watchman stealing food from the stores, but out of concern for the young man, he has reported it. Pain? The wa pantry watchman's bad habit. Troubling warrior defies you. The bar. I wonder if this is the storeroom here. Entry. So much never right. You don't work, you don't eat. Simple as. How can you get more food? <laughs> Maybe you're getting my palms a bit. Unless you want to try to beat it out of me. <laughs> I think you poppers could do either. Yeah, well, uh, we know what you've been doing. Well, how do you know about that? So no. Crap! If Lord Ricketts ever found out. So okay, okay, look here. Have some food. Just don't get any ideas about telling anyone about that. I mean it. I obtained food! Probably trade that food for something. Oh, probably they got it slinged down. Oh, it's a hungry camp. Yes. Here you go, sir. Oh, you really brought me some. Thanks so much. I was so hungry, I could barely lift a finger. Much less mine. Basically, we have so many different meanings. You look much better, thanks to you. I know it ain't much, but if you need anything, just give me a holler, okay? How about an extra long rope? You look much better, thanks to you. Alright. Purchase. Long rope. Yes. Thank you. Yes, plus badge is also nice too. What about screw knives? Sate. Once an average resident of Actul, they ran afoul of bandits on the road and lost their life savings. After returning to civilization, they ran afoul of bandits. Uh, after returning to civilization, they ran afoul of the much worse bandit known as Ricketts. The traveling warrior defies you. Oh, darn it.
Yes, use the long rope. And climb down through the wall now. According to plan. Check out the inbox after uh, when we're ready to wrap it up. Mostly rewards for the quest that we've done so far. Well, the side quest that we've done so far. The traveling warrior defies you! I should have done something to help me heal it first, but I didn't think about that, so here we are. This is my island. Mine. No one can have it. No one. There he is. This is as far as you go, Ricketts. Now set these people free. Never. Not as long as I live. All this island's wealth belongs to me. And no one will stand in my way. Ew. He, he turned into a monster? What's going on? It's mine. This island. 
It's wealth. All mine. You know, I heard you weren't always like this. But sacrificing your fellow workers to fill your coffers will turn anyone into a monster. No wonder. What do you want with what? What would you want with that much money anyway? What else? I wanted money to have it. Hold it. Money there just to have. It's meant to be used to get the things you want. Everyone on this island's working for something they want. And I won't let you get in the way of that. This is my island! You're the one in my way! It appears your words fall on deaf ears. They will have to use force. I think it's about time he understood the pain of the people he's hurt. And I won't be able to treat him in this condition. You can heal him. Even after he's come this far. I don't know, but he looks like he's in pain, so I have to try. <laughs> then let's do this! Transform Drickets. Alright, he is weak against fire. But first... That's rude. falls down. Nanda? Huh? It looks like he dropped something. I wonder if it's a ring. What? Hmm. It's a ring. That's lodging for the night secured. I'm gonna go find some grub. What about you? Yeah. I think I'll turn in. Alright. Hey, uh, that reminds me. Are you keeping a travel log? Hmm? Huh? Mm. It's just, I felt like every time we had a moment to sit, you'd have that thing out and be writing in it. It's just like I haven't seen you do that in a while now, I guess. Don't tell me you lost the thing and my bookmark. <laughs> Oh. Don't worry. I still have both. Right here. Mine. Good to hear. Right, I'm off to find Grub. So. My log. Does it matter if I keep writing in it? Even if there's no way for me to ever return home? Hmm. I can't get him any more wrapped up in, in this than he is. Mm. Mm. Yet again, we've come up empty-handed. Yeah. I just finished asking around at the end, but no one was, knows a thing. So what now? Back west? Yeah. No. I'm done. Huh? Done? 
What do you mean done? Don't tell me you've given up. Mm -hmm. I haven't. But I think it's better that I go it alone from here. You found the treasure you were searching for. There's no reason for you to keep putting yourself through this. Hey now, don't be like that. After three years of traveling together, you don't trust my gut anymore? I'll get you home to your world. I promise you that. Hmm. You just don't take a hint, do you? I'm telling you to get lost. What? Hey, you don't mean that. Yeah. I spent two years wandering my world, and another three wandering here. I've long since failed to keep my promise to my sister. It's over. I failed her. <laughs> That's all the more reason you shouldn't be alone. We're, we're comrades. <laughs> I don't need a comrade to continue failing. After all this time, we've never found anything. Your being here is pointless. <laughs> I'm the only one who takes it seriously anyhow. Daru. You never believed me, did you? Huh? I... I... I Even if you did, you didn't actually understand how I felt. Can you really imagine what it's like to be ripped from your home? Your life? Everyone you love? To know that they're out there waiting for you to return even though you never will? Do you really understand what it's like to be a traveler on a journey to there? That sounds fun, honestly. They will. So go back to where you came from. That's where you belong. You, you can't be serious. And fade to black. Or white. Mm. I got the echo. Uh. It's that traveler's memories again. Is something wrong, Aldo? No, it's nothing. But this ring looks just like the one Odysseo gave me. Does that mean this is somehow connected to that man? Hmm. Rickets was enveloped in a sinister light just before the battle began. And it appeared that the light came from this ring. So the ring's what caused Rickets to change? Hi. We won't know for sure until we ask the man himself. But it's certainly within the realm of possibility. Oh. Yo. Awake already. <clears throat> My body hurts. Why am I in pain? Said you had a look at him, Casty. <laughs> Nothing seems to be amiss, although you will be in pain for some time. <clears throat> Thank you. Miss. By the way, um, what am I doing here? Aren't these the Saltor Mines? Masako. You mean, you can't recall what happened? Mm. I remember coming here receiving a ring from a mysterious man. How long ago was that? I can't seem to recall. No. Was his name Odysseus by any chance? Unfortunately, I never asked his name. But he did mention well Oh, wealth gain power. Why didn't I see it? Oh well. Oh. Why don't we return to the sleeping quarters? I'll mix up some pain medicine there. Come on, I'll help you. Whether you remember it or not, you've got a lot to get straightened out, fella. Yes, thank you. Once he's settled, let's return to the space time rift. It seems we need to have another talk with Odysseo. Ah. Yeah, we better nip this in the bud before it gets worse. Asti! Alright, that's done. Alright. Uh, let's just explore this 
row a little bit. All right. And so with that, guys, I do have the five the hard stop at 5.30, so I am actually going to wrap it up now. Um, just grabbing the timestamp, sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up now, and in two weeks we will continue the, um, the Octopath Traveler quest lines. Uh, and it will also be the, um, the anniversary period then, too. I think it goes until May 7th, if I remember the announcement correctly. Uh, so April 11th to May 7th. So, uh, we'll take advantage of any anniversary stuff that's going on then, too. Um, and then we'll get the Death Traveler storyline. If there's not enough time for both, then we'll focus on the anniversary stuff, because, uh, from what I read before, the Octopath Traveler stuff is here for like two years. So I was wrong like a few months ago when I said that they're always there. Um, but you know, two years is anything to sneeze at either. So yeah, we've got time. We've got time. But yeah, I am going to go ahead and wrap it up here. And tomorrow I will be back with more Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy XIV, uh, doing the 16 crossover plus uh, figuring out how to make money. I got a couple of ideas in mind, though. All right, y'all. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time. Bye!